So this is the last of our four weeks where we are releasing four new books uh, within a four week period, one book per week. And so we are announcing the final book in this series that is being published. And the release is Ernst Ludhart's Lectures on the Saving Truths of Christianity. So this is part of a new series that we are publishing through Justin Sinner. And this is a series of books on apologetics. So like the other series that we've had, we've got our classics and dogmatics, our devotional classics, our American Lutheran uh, works series. We are looking at a different field of theological writings uh, and bringing out what are some of the major works that have not been published in quite some time in that area, which will be beneficial for the church today. So. Ernst Ludhart, who is he, you may be asking. If you're familiar with our works of Revere Funk and Widener series, you've probably seen Ludhart cited. He was one of Widener's major theological influence influences. Well, known often as Ernst Ludhart, his name, full name is Christoph Ernst Ludhart. He was a German Lutheran theologian writing in the 19th century, just died at the very beginning of the 20th century. And Ludhart lived during the time of the rise of Protestant liberalism in Germany, and he was a consistent critic of Protestant liberalism. Particularly, he was a critic of Albert Ritschel, and he was one of the most esteemed critics of Ritschel. So he was considered very much a Lutheran Orthodox thinker uh, in a period that was largely moving away from the old Lutheran Orthodoxy. And so he was a significant part of what was the Lutheran Orthodox revival in the 19th century, bringing back a lot of those theological categories that were very prominent from the time of the confessions themselves in the 16th century and throughout the 17th uh, century scholastics as well. Uh, but with that, Ludhart himself was not just purely beholden to the ideas of, of those thinkers. He was not just a repristinator of those ideas, but what Ludhard wanted to do was bring the convictions of the confessional Lutheran church into conversation with what were a lot of the criticisms of, of the day, of just traditional orthodoxy, as well as some of the challenges of historical criticism and in the formation of scripture. Uh, for example, Ludhart has a volume dealing with the authorship of the Gospel of John, and it was argued, at least at the time, that John was written extremely late, maybe mid to late second century even, were some older proposals, and that's been pretty thoroughly debunked at this point. Um, but it's been argued, it was argued that there couldn't be a high Christology early in the church, uh, and so John must have been far later than the rest of the Gospels. Well, Ludhart wrote a defense of the early, earlier dating of the Gospel of John. So those were the kinds of, of apologetic questions that Ludhart spent a large portion of his time dealing with. Uh, along with that, he also wrote this compendium dogmatic, so this uh, dogmatic theology, which is one of the most important works of systematic theology in the 19th century, though unfortunately it has not yet seen an English translation. Uh, I would like to see that happen, but at least at this point it has not happened. But if any of my listeners uh, who read German would like to uh, engage in a translation work, that would be great. Um, so the other thing that he's really known for, which is what we're dealing with here, are his apologetics lectures. And he has a series of these four sets of lectures that he gave dealing with Christian apologetics. It's a hugely influential and important work. Now, three of those volumes have been translated into English. Uh, the fourth has never been translated, but this is one of those series of lectures, and the others will be part of, of future, will be future publications as well. But this is among those what I think is, is the best, and this is uh, saving lectures on or apologetic lectures on the saving truths of Christianity. And so what he does is he interacts with what are the central truths of Christianity, the central truths, truth claims of the gospel, of sin and then of salvation in Christ. And he expounds upon the doctrines of Christianity, but then interacts with opposing perspectives, opposing worldviews, criticisms, um, the unbelieving world, as well as various different religions that, that would challenge Christianity and provides defenses of each of those ideas throughout the book. He also has one on uh, the moral truths of Christianity, which we'll be publishing as well. So Ludhart's work, I have found extremely valuable uh, in my own life. He's one of my favorite authors to read. He's certainly not dry, 
uh, as some of the Lutheran scholastics may be considered dry, I don't mind reading some dry things, but some others do. Um, but Luthard is definitely not that. He he's, has a beautiful way of speaking and using imagery and really speaks in a way that is very just edifying and strengthening for your own faith. So if you're interested in the questions of apologetics, I highly recommend this work as well as the rest of the works of Luthart as well. As I said, this is the first in a series, so we'll be publishing Luthart's other books. We'll be putting some of Milton Valentine's apologetic works in the series and some other things as well as we bring back some older apologetic material that I think is really valuable for the church today. So uh, go to jspublishing.org. You can go to our series and check out the Apologetic series. It's the only volume in the series so far, uh, but pick up your copy today. Thanks so much. God bless.